not for just for visitors, it is for visitors and locals alike. It is expected that the Megans will come and participate in terms of what it is that they have to offer in terms of the final product itself. Based on where we are, we don't expect to have completion um, until October of this year. But that's in line in terms of um, the expectations in terms of the superior stakeholders because once it is that we have completed the construction of the structure itself in terms of the yard works and the rest of it, there still has to be work done by the operators of the museum. So they need to come in and do a build out in terms of the internal spaces. So therefore that facilitates them coming in after we have completed the structure. As it is right now, it will be a walk through Jamaica in terms of the history and how it is designed is that there are specific rooms that takes um, a walk through specific parts of Jamaica's history itself. So therefore, there is an era for um, slavery, there is um, the Spanish um, domination at one point in itself and all the rest of it, um, tied back to um, the fortunes and, and what happens in terms of the English being here as well. So therefore, the different elements as you walk, you say, it's going to be a walking tour going through different stages of Jamaica's historical development. What's the cost for this project? Well, we have to be um, mindful that this project is being done in terms as a part of the overall development of the terminal itself, which was a contract which was tendered and awarded for $1.8 billion. Um, so this particular work is within the remits of that in itself. What is the vision for this museum? Will it be tied to the tour, the cruise ships coming in? There is an expectation that in terms of having developed the cruise ship terminal, we wanted to be able to show more of Jamaica just in terms of persons actually getting off and being able to see a um, few elements of going out the various um, exhibits. So what we have done is that we have created a scenario where it is that we can showcase Jamaica to persons here local. It's not for, just for visitors, it is for visitors and locals alike. It is expected that Jamaicans will come and participate in terms of what it is that they have to offer in terms of the final product itself. Well, the museum is going to cover 500 years of Jamaican history. It's going to start with the Tainos who were actually here in Port Royal uh, back, back in that period of time and carry us all the way up to modern day. It's, um, there, it's going to cover a number of things I heard Gary talking about. It's going to take you through the history of Jamaica, different time periods and so on. It's immersive. So, for example, there's going to be an experience where it's going to do, be a replication of Lime Street as it was back in the 1700s. And uh, we're passing that. Visitors are going to be able to walk through and hear the noises, smell the smells, see the walls, kind of see what it was like, like back in that day. There's a section that is also immersive about showing the middle passage and period of slavery and then there's another period that's going to uh, deal with the naval dockyard. Jamaica was a major naval dockyard for the British uh, Navy. Uh, Jamaica and Bermuda were the two major, major bases uh, there for a number of hundreds of years. What will be the vision for local tours? Will it integrate those who come through these this era on cruise ships? Both. So uh, that's a fantastic thing. We see this, uh, the museum is going to be always be open so the locals can come and, and, and get a bit of their history. We actually see this museum as being the start of more. Um, there is so much more to be, stories to be told. And so this is in a sense the introduction and I think that once um, the local population gets a taste of this, they're going to want to come back and see more. I think it opens up opportunities for developing more museum experiences, say, over the um, uh, the old uh, naval hospital. Um, of course, we have already done one at uh, Fort Charles, which still has some more work to be done. But between those two, it's going to become a real powerful anchor. The cruise ships that are coming in, uh, we've been promoting to them over the years that this is an incredibly historic location. This is akin to Pompeii in Italy, which, um, you know, we have the sunken city, they have the, the, the city that was trapped under um, the explosion from Mount Vesuvius. And so it's a similar sort of experience where they're going to be able to come here and see things from a period of time in which it was all frozen in time. Can you tell me about the technology that will be included? Uh, yes, in the immersive areas there are going to be things like the smells and the lighting and their the, the whole idea is and the sounds. It's to kind of set the environment that when you walk into a room, um, I think um, uh, Gary, our SVP of engineering, explained that in the museum there's a lot of, um, the, the, there are very few rooms with windows and that's because they need to control the environment, the temperature, the lighting and everything like that. And so once you're able to have that level of control, you'll be able to deliver an experience that is, you know, just not static. You know, you're going to hear the sounds of the birds, say, you know, um, in, you know uh, at the seashore and, and all of that. You're going to be able to smell the fires burning and, and, and different things like that. That's the whole immersive uh, part of the experience. Looking forward to welcoming everybody in, in October to 
come down and come and, and, and learn things about Jamaica that I've learned so much over the last few years on things that have been brought to light um, in, in the travels and things that I see going to be included that I didn't know about Jamaica. I think people find it fascinating. We have an extraordinary history. In fact, when we were working with consultants on the development, they told us from day one that the problem that, that we're going to have is not, um, it, is that we have too many stories. So there's going to be a lot of rotation. I think there's so many stories. Um, Jamaica's had a huge impact on the world, and that will also be reflected.